Today is a very special day for our CATS ministry. Our CATS ministry, as you know, is a Chongdong Academy for Theological and Spiritual Formation. CATS is, uh, we have already started with CATS a few years ago, but um, this year we've started with something really special. In September, we started a course, <clears throat> the first module of a four-module course, uh, we call it the GPS of the Bible. And um, this is a special course because it's not a, a normal Bible study. It is where we teach and we workshop three really important strands of how you read the Bible and interpret the Bible, uh, exegesis, hermeneutics, and homiletics. Now, if you think that is very uh, strange names, it's actually just understanding the Bible in a new way. So if you, st if you do this uh, properly, your way of looking at the Bible changes. So uh, we had 11 people completed this first 10-week course. And um, today we've got two of them that would just shortly like to tell you a bit more about that. And then we're going to hand out certificates of completion uh, for those who have completed this. So I would like to introduce you to uh, Kathy. We're going to give you first chance. Kathy Tuck, and she's going to talk a bit about that. Thank you. Uh, when we started this Cat's Table Talk series, uh, Reverend Rainers had asked us what we were expecting from this course. Um, I had very little idea um, uh, other than that we're going to be in a small group talking about the Bible. The title of Bible is GPS seemed to mean that I could learn how to navigate my life uh, by looking at where the Bible was telling us to go and um, to follow those directions. One reason I actually joined was because I thought the class would force me to spend, to read the Bible more uh, as my constant excuse was that I was too busy to spend time with God in my everyday life. life. Little, I, little did I know that it was going to be something a lot more than this. Uh, looking back at now, uh, our class of 11 of us felt like um, we, for me, it was a course for learning a new language. Yes, it was the same Bible that we have been reading and Paul's letters especially, all of us in the class had read some time, if not more than once in our Christian lives. Yet it was a way of reading the Bible which I did not know. As we started learning about exegesis, our booklets were highlighted in multiple colors which provide us with indicator words to understand what Paul's writings meant. Reverend Rayner's explanation about Ephesus and Philippi, at the time that Paul wrote, gave us a completely different perspective and also additional historical background. Learning about how the Bible came about and everything else that was introduced in the course made me feel like um, I have just started actually baby steps in learning a new language. With the course, I don't think I'll be able to read the Bible without applying what we learned in this course. I'm very thankful for Reverend Rayner um, who prepared and taught every class with prayers and passion. For my classmates with whom we immersed together in the word of God that transcends time for the church that provide us with this wonderful opportunity to learn and mostly to God who brought us together for this course and led us in his Holy, Holy Spirit. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> but Gregory Pence, he's gonna tell you a little bit from his perspective. Um, first, I wanna thank Kathy for her very comprehensive uh, talk. I'll try not to repeat any of the wonderful information she provided. Um, I also want to say a deep thanks to Reverend Reiner for the opportunity to attend these CATS lectures. He facilitated um, a really warm uh, atmosphere, a very inviting atmosphere. He was uh, incredibly well prepared uh, to guide, not direct or command, but to guide uh, the classroom and to, to really help every one of us uh, find our own doorway to God. Uh, and I'm grateful for that. Um, my wife and I are relatively new 
to Chongdong. And we've been here for a number of months, um, but we tend to sit together, uh, as I believe most people in our uh, church do. And CAS represented an excellent opportunity to explore fellowship. Um, it's really easy in today's world to, uh, to be alone, uh, to be segregated, um, and we wanted to receive this invitation to attend class, to learn more, and to especially learn from why other people wanted to explore the Bible. Um, and the stories that were shared in our classroom were particularly inspiring. They broadened my own understanding in a very powerful way. Uh, and, you know, I just want to compliment a little bit of what Kathy said, uh, very briefly. You know, apart from learning about the origins of the Bible, uh, we did examine, you know, three processes uh, associated with the Bible. Um, they are exegesis, uh, hermeneutics, and homiletics. They sound like very arcane and enigmatic and recondite ver you know, words, very difficult to access, but under, again, Reverend Reiner's shepherding, we were able to understand these words more fully and to, to get deeper understanding. I I think the big idea here was the Bible is GPS, and we sought to develop deeper knowledge, uh, more acute discernment, and greater appreciation for the Bible, and the, the question is why, and to follow you know, God's voice in our lives. Uh, Reverend Reiner particularly emphasized uh, the letters of St. Paul, and I am grateful for how he opened my eyes to the, the beautiful language of Paul and also his, his, his messages that are timeless. And I very much look forward to future Katz lectures. So thank you very thank much. Thank you, Griffin. Thanks.